Welcome, beloved souls, to our space of divine guidance and insight. Today we gather to seek wisdom from the Oracle of the Seven Energies. Before we begin, let us create a sacred space invoking the elements and guardians to protect and guide us. It's essential to have a clear beginning and end in our spiritual practices. Creating a protected sacred space aligns us with each other and sets specific intentions for cleansing, protecting, and aligning with guardians for guidance. Here we have all the elements to represent us and our offerings for this collective reading. We have earth, we have air, we have fire, and we have water. They're all here representing us. So begin. we'll begin by calling in the directions and the elements. This ancient practice connects us with our ancestors and Mother Earth, awakening our consciousness to our intimate connection with this living planet. Close your eyes, take a deep breath. Let's start our invocation. We call in the winds of the east, place of air, eagle, and condor. Lift us to great heights for a wider view. Teach us to fly wing to wing with the great spirit. We call in the winds of the south, place of fire and great serpent. Wrap your golden coils of healing light around us. Teach us to shed our past as you shed your skin. Help us move in harmony with the earth's heartbeat, allowing us to release and renew. We thank you. We call in the winds of the west, place of water and mother sister jaguar. Protect our space, empowering us to navigate the great mystery. Teach us to move through our shadows, trusting in our interconnectedness with life. We honor and thank you for your guidance and protection. We call in the winds of the north, place of earth, sweet hummingbird, and our benevolent ancestors. Allow us to feel your ancient heartbeat, teaching us to discernment and illuminating our soul's path. We celebrate the sweetness in our lives and thank you for your healing, humor, synchronicity, magic, and grace. To Pachamama, Mother Earth, thank you for this body, life, hands, and heart. Thank you for your profound generosity, teaching us to be more like you, infusing us with your love. To Father, Son, Grandmother, Moon, and our star, star brothers and sisters, shower your light down on us. Help us remember the true meaning of community and reflect one another's light. Illuminate our being and awaken us. And to the heart teacher, awaken within us. Be the source of our thoughts, words, and actions, guiding us through life with love. So let's grab our deck clear. Let's do a little bit of sage and clear the deck for the reading today. We have now safely have an open and portal channels to our guides for this reading. We have protected our space and now we're, rece we're ready to receive our message of guidance for the collective. Okay, clear. Here we go. Let's give it a nice shuffle let's see what guidance our guides and spirit guides and divine messages we will be receiving today let's see what oh, that one flew out let me grab it and pick it up we received a burst of magic the key concepts for this card an epiphany a sudden higher knowing a sense that everything has a purpose your purpose as a gift bestowed upon you cultivating conscious contact with a higher power coming to know what calls to you and lights you up sometimes you may find that something you'd been pondering or a dilemma you let go of revisits you without warning it may hit you while you're thinking about nothing or the trigger may be just the right words arising in a conversation book a vlog blog an epiphany strikes like a lightning bolt waking you up to a truth that has previously eluded you it's as if the whole world stops in that moment as you integrate the missing pieces of the puzzle you were meant to solve all along this is such a time for you now answers are coming directly from source and being downloaded into you with such force of conviction that you cannot be the same again. Be grateful for this beautiful burst of magic. It is not an everyday gift. Inherent in this is the knowledge that spirit is always listening to you. Spirit is your loving partner, reminding you that you are not alone, even when it appears that you are trapped. You always have a key to unlock the solution. 
If you cultivate the willingness to be open to and in tune with Source, the answers you seek come when you stop looking for them. Be mindful today. When information pops up out of the blue, pay attention. The actions you need to take will become obvious as you integrate this magical wisdom. Regardless of the subject of your inquiry, you will be transformed. Only good will come of this. What a beautiful card this burst of magic card is. I magic is always all around us and what a beautiful message that we receive that only good will come of this now i wanted to remind you and that was a beautiful collective reading for the collective conscious now i have mentioned that going forward at the end of the collective conscious reading and video um ending of the reading for the collective conscious sorry we will be picking a commenter a follower a subscriber um, for a special reading of their own and we're going to be doing this on all the readings all the videos no matter what form of divination tool and guide or tools i use for the guidance i choose to do so let's go ahead and take a deep breath and prepare and now the special reading for our chosen follower today our chosen follower is lila forceman let's see what guidance awaits you lila let's go ahead and give it a good shuffle And let's see what card we get. You received Exposed and Revealed. What a beautiful card. This card is about healing shame. Some of the key concepts is healing shame, the imposter syndrome, letting go of self condemnation, freedom from past unresolved wounds, focusing on self-worth, the underlying beauty in rejection. When you experience shame, you don't just feel you've done something wrong, you feel like you are wrong, fundamentally flawed. Know that life loves you, and the universe doesn't make junk, only magic. And it's amazing that the collective conscious card before this was burst of magic. However, many social interactions, especially online, are steeped in distorted, unhealthy ways of expressing pain by shaming. Here is the way out of this. See shame as the heart-wrenching cry for help that it is. Consider whether you could have been triggered in the outer world by unresolved issues that matched all your inner pain points. If someone is shaming you, perhaps you have triggered them. How miserable they must be to expend their energy on such toxicity. They are drinking poison, hoping you will get sick. You cannot love someone out of their shame. You can only show compassion for both them and yourself. Set a healthy boundary and refuse to fan the flames. Look up shame as an opportunity for growth, evolution, healing, and freedom. With this in mind, can you let go of your attachment to control? Admit that this, is, that this emotion isn't something you have power over and surrender to a higher power. There is sacred quality to the vulnerability inherent in admitting you can't do this alone. When you allow yourself to be laid open in this way, you gain a beautiful new perspective. Then the healed shame has the infinite power of the divine to set you free. Just look upon this as a chance for growth, letting go of the attachment to control and surrendering to a higher power. 
Gaining a new perspective when you're laid open is magic. The heel shame has the power of the divine to set you free. Lila, I hope this resonates with you. For further clarity, feel free to reach out. DM me, message me, send me a message, email. I'll be more than happy to give you further clarity. Thank you all for joining in this sacred session. If you found guidance or resonance in these readings, please like, comment, and subscribe. For more daily insights, follow us to stay connected with our spiritual community. May your paths be illuminated with wisdom, love, and the wonders of the universe. Carry the spirit of guidance and wonder in your hearts until we meet again. Thank you. And with that, we now close this portal for all the guidance, we release all the elements and all the spirit animals back to their quarters. This portal is now closed and this channel is now closed. Thank you.